Okay, so how many of you guys remember what you did when you were bored when you were little or what you played with? Okay, since when did America's youth go from asking for Barbie's dream house to the new iPhone 5 for Christmas? Why are kids so concerned with beating the next level of Call of Duty or who just Snapchatted them? We all know when we got excited to go outside and play with our friends and so, so many people argue that technology is good for these youngsters, but what is it really doing? Which leads to my main claim that technology, including video games, smartphones, computers, internet, iPods, and tablets, are having a harmful effect on children, specifically ages 2 to 12. Let's start by talking about um, what it has negative effects on. It has ne negative effects on the children's health, attitude and performance, and their academic aspect of their life. Let's start by talking about the harmful effects it has on their health. So over usage in technology of children uh, increases health issues, and one of the main health issues is <coughs> obesity. According to the Stanford University of Medical Study, elementary students consume 20% of their calorie intake while watching TV. Most of these calories that they intake are unhealthy snacks like Cheetos, chips, and all that kind of stuff. And they obviously don't burn them off because they sit there and continue watching TV. You always eat more when you're watching TV because you don't realize how much you're actually intaking because you're focusing on the entertainment. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, two-thirds of infants and toddlers watch an average of two hours of TV a day. And kids and teens 8 to 18 years old nearly spend four hours in front of the TV screen and two additional hours on the computer. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that kids under two years old do not watch TV at all and that kids older than two years old watch no more than one to two hours a day on quality programming. The choice for children to rather have techno technological activities rather than activities that include physical participation, children usually are choosing the ones that have technology, which means the obesity rate has tripled in the last 20 years. Other health issues that they may have is type 2 diabetes, sleep apnea, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, and their eyesight worsens because of the staring at the screen causes eye stress. Now that we talked about the health issues that technology has effect um, on the children, let's talk about the social aspect. The social networks that children are now getting into, like Facebook and Instagram, there's less face-to-face -face action when they're actually in person with people, so sometimes they don't know how to act. And watching TV shows uh, that are meant for an older audience makes kids want to grow up faster. TV is full with programs that depict risky behavior like drinking alcohol and drugs and everything like that. And as cool and fun as they, they may seem to children, they don't understand the consequences that they're getting themselves into. For example, teen mom, younger kids might watch that and think, oh, I can get pregnant at 14 and become a superstar on TV, which we all know that's not the case. Uh, violence may occur more in children's life because of games like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. How many of you guys know those games? Mm -hmm. Yep. So it shows these kids that violence is okay. They could go out and steal cars and everything like that. Not that they would, but just saying. And family life has been extremely affected by this. There's less time being spent as a family, as a whole, and more alone with technology. According to the AC Nelson Company survey, uh, they surveyed a group of four to six-year-olds, asking them if they'd rather watch TV or spend time with their father, and 54% of them chose to watch TV. Now let's talk about uh, how it affects their education. Academic honesty has been sacrificed with all the education that has been brought into the children's life, and they've familiarized themselves with the internet and how easy it is to type a question in a search engine and just get an answer. Uh, according to the Center of Academic Integrity, they report 80% of college students uh, admit to cheating at, le at least once, so how the generation of these children are going now, it's only going to get worse. Um, and the challenge of multitasking time management has become a problem with technology being alive in these generations. The balance between schoolwork, technology, and social aspects have been so hard for children at such young ages ages to balance. 
So now that we've talked about all the secondary claims of why technology, including smartphones, computers, internet, video games, tablets, iPods, whatever they are, have a harmful effect on children, how would you like to spend your family dinners when you grow older with your children? Would you like them to be zoned out in their iPhone or actually having a conversation about their day? It's all up to you guys to realize the harmful effects that technology is having on these children. And if this does continue, uh, it will continue and further all the harmful effects on their health, attitude, and academics. Thank you. All right, you got that long list in the middle of the proposition. I know you're trying to focus it a little bit. I think you could probably define that outside of the proposition, make it a little bit simpler. Uh, the secondary points are nicely laid out. You signpost them reasonably well at the beginning, although I think uh, in the body of the speech you got a little bit lost on the signposting and stuff started to run together, especially on the, the second point. On uh, the first point, you're kind of attributing causality there. I thought you had some good data on that, but of course there are challenges as to what the uh, the ultimate causes of obesity are. The same thing with the uh, point on attitudes. Uh, the real question is why are the kids watching programs that are inappropriate for them? Is that because they just watch the television or is that because nobody is, is controlling and regulating what they watch? And so there may be some dispute uh, that's based on those points. Um, the academic material was okay, but I didn't really see much data on it supporting it other than a couple of hypotheticals in the one general statistic on cheating. I think you need a little bit more information to show that there is in fact going to be a consequence on learning as a result of this sort of thing. I think it was generally nicely presented and very good uh, engagement of the audience. All right, thank you.